ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our nation's capital. We are live in Washington, D.C., just 48 hours before the king of the ring. The biggest week in universe mode history continues, emanating from the Capital One Arena right here in Washington, D.C., on a stacked night of action right here live on Super SmackDown. And what a main event. Come your way later this evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a big one for the United States Championship. For the first time ever, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes goes one-on-one -on -one with the ring general, Gunther. The championship is on the line between Imperium's ring general and the American Nightmare later tonight on Super SmackDown. Welcome everybody inside the Capital One Arena for Super Smackdown Live. And what a way to kick things off with a monumental tag team affair. Two men that will challenge each other in just 48 hours for the very gold around the Scottish Warriors waist, the World Heavyweight Championship. Those two men look to coexist tonight and take down a common enemy in the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal and the glorious Robert Roode. The Rated R Superstar Edge, the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. What a big time way to kick things off live from Washington, D.C. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. This Sunday night in Philadelphia, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The rated R superstar looks to win gold yet again, but the Scottish warrior not looking to stop for anybody in his historic World Heavyweight Championship reign. McIntyre has been the face of Friday nights for months here on SmackDown. He has turned away the challenges of John Cena, Braun Breaker, and remember that big win against Seth Rollins all the way back at WrestleMania when McIntyre won the World Heavyweight title. But now the next challenger steps up in the Hall of Famer, the Rated R Superstar Edge, this Sunday at King of the Ring. He's the king. And speaking of the devil, Edge is here on SmackDown. Edge returned to the Friday nights in the midst of a, a train with Monday Night Raw just a number of weeks ago. And he confronted Drew McIntyre, setting his sights on the World Heavyweight Championship. This Sunday, Edge gets his opportunity. But tonight, it's all about coexisting and building that momentum towards Philadelphia this Sunday. It was one year ago at this time where Edge was preparing to cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase against the phenomenal AJ Styles for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Edge, of course, won the WWE title, lost it to Austin Theory, and then righted that wrong just a month after that, winning the WWE Championship again. Edge has had one hell of the last 12 months. And now he's looking to add another big championship to his Hall of Fame career and a title he has held on many occasions, the World Heavyweight Championship. But that opportunity comes this Sunday, tonight here in DC. The champion and challenger got their hands full with Mahal and Rude. And from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal! Jinder Mahal went one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre a number of weeks ago. McIntyre picking up the victory on that night, and the modern-day Maharaja has not forgotten. Jinder Mahal, former WWE champion in his own right, former United States champion as well. Jinder Mahal and Robert Roode got a look at this match tonight as a way to bounce back. Both of those men have fallen to McIntyre or Edge in the latest of weeks here on SmackDown. Tonight, a chance to right those wrongs and possibly put themselves in line for future World Heavyweight Championship opportunities after the King of the Ring this Sunday. Jinder Mahal looks laser-focused tonight. You gotta believe him and Robert Roode 
are coming into this match with a strategy and quite frankly are coming to this match more likely on the same page. Respect is there between Edge and Drew McIntyre, but 48 hours before a main event clash, you gotta believe tensions are running high. Jinder Mahal enters, and here comes his tag team partner, the glorious Robert Roode. Roode took a loss to Edge two weeks ago on SmackDown. Can he turn things around tonight in DC? What bigger way to kick things off on a epic night on Friday Night Smackdown. It is a super Smackdown, a part of the biggest week in Universe Mode history. Thank you for joining us live here from Washington, D.C. We hope you joined us this past Monday night in Madison Square Garden for all homecoming. But if you weren't able to check it out, the replay is available right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Go check out Raw Homecoming from this past Monday night. Super Smackdown here tonight. Of course, 24 hours from now, we will be in Manhattan, New York at the Hammerstein Ballroom for our channel member exclusive WWE Live event. We're going to run down the entire card for tomorrow night, later this evening here on SmackDown. And we'll be live once again this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time in the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the 2023 King of the Ring event. We're going to crown a 2023 King of the Ring winner. Of course, Matt Riddle from Raw will defend his WWE Championship against Kevin Owens. And on the SmackDown side, Drew McIntyre will defend his World Heavyweight title against Edge. But tonight, those two men stand side by side. Common enemies sometimes bring together the most unlikely of duos. And here we are kicking things off in the red, white, and blue as McIntyre takes the fight to the modern-day Maharaja. Still to come tonight on SmackDown in your main event. Can't think of a bigger way to top off what is going to be an epic night here on Super SmackDown. From our nation's capital, the prestigious United States Championship is on the line between Gunther and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Also coming up tonight, Rey Mysterio set to battle Los Lotharios Angel Garza. One half of the women's tag team champions, Raquel Rodriguez, going one-on-one -on -one with Io Sky. Also coming up later, Mustafa Ali, one half of the world tag team champions, battles Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Stack tonight of action inside of that very squared circle. Right now, we got to focus in on this tag team affair. McIntyre. In comes Robert Roode to no avail. There's a tag made to the rated R superstar. It looks like so far, McIntyre and Edge going to be coexisting in this matchup. Again, Edge defeated Robert Roode very recently here on SmackDown. Robert Roode tonight looks at this as an opportunity to get back that win and get what he was possibly searching for few weeks ago which was a chance at the world championship you remember when edge and rude went one-on-one -on -one? if rude would have won that matchup things this sunday at king of the ring would have been a triple threat match instead of a one-on-one -on -one. rude came up short and it will just be edge versus mcintyre but nonetheless here mahal and rude see opportunity my goodness double team pile driver to the rated r superstar in the middle of that ring and edge has got to be feeling the punishment right now mahon to the cover sees an opportunity for victory edge got that intestinal fortitude he ain't gonna go down without a long fight but still you see the damage done edge rushing to the corner to tag in the world heavyweight champion drew mcintyre respect is there between champion and challenger and they're just going to look to get that victory tonight and then stand on the opposite side of the ring from each other this Sunday. Because McIntyre, big time spine buster on Jinder Mahal. Into the cover, and Mahal pops the shoulder up. Jinder Mahal and McIntyre, a lot of history between these two men, former friends now. have been on the different sides of the path, if you will, for several years. McIntyre's really had Jinder Mahal's number throughout the majority of those battles. Nonetheless, McIntyre and Mahal locking horns again tonight in the midst of this tag team matchup. Robert Roode has had his issues with Drew McIntyre over the years as well. They've once battled for the NXT Championship dating back to 2017. And of course, the recent battles right here on SmackDown. 
McIntyre off the second rope, dropping the leg on Jinder Mahal. The man can't breathe, he can't fight it. When you got a tree trunk landed on top of you like the leg of Drew McIntyre, that's certainly going to aid in that sense. Not enough to keep Mahal down, but the world heavyweight champion keeping the fight going. McIntyre has had one hell of a year thus far. Remember, he won the Elimination Chamber matchup back in January. Marched into the main event of WrestleMania to dethrone Seth freaking Rollins. He has retained that world championship in a match of the year candidate against John Cena at Backlash and turned away the challenge of the young and hungry Braun Breaker back at Vengeance last month. Will McIntyre be able to take down the Hall of Famer in Edge? We will find out in just 48 hours at King of the Ring. Right now, McIntyre looking to crawl to the corner. Robert Roode better keep his eye on the champion and challenger because the Rated R Superstar is back in. But it looks like Roode was just goading in the number one contender and has now got him hanged up in the top rope. Robert Roode has got to be feeling motivated tonight to pin one of these men shoulders to the matchup and solidify his spot as a future challenger for the World Heavyweight Championship. Here comes Edge. Edge who had his return to battle for the first time since WrestleMania just a few weeks ago in a win against Robert Roode. Now getting some of that rust off yet again tonight. It was one hell of a matchup a few weeks back. Robert Roode took Edge to the limit and was really one costly misstep. And Edge catching Roode with that spear out of nowhere that caused Roode to have his shoulders pinned for a three count on that night. Here we go, that was then, this is now, and Robert Roode and Edge still locking horns inside of this Super SmackDown Tag Team ring. And Edge takes him down. Rated R Superstar trying to build momentum. Get the glorious one, down and out for good. Execution there, may do it. Looking for the victory, but Jinder Mahal in to break things up, and Robert Roode escapes to the outside. Edge almost had him there. Referee might have caught a shot of that come in from Jinder Mahal, and here comes Edge. The Rated R Superstar looking to split the difference between Ro Mahal and Robert Roode. Jinder Mahal able to shut him off, shove him off. Nonetheless, the brawl now continues on the outside of the squared circle. Now Edge back inside the ring. Roode looking for the tag. There he makes it. And a tag made to Drew McIntyre, a pair of fresh legs on both sides of the ring, and here we go. Mahal taking the fight to the World Heavyweight Champion and takes him down with the elbow. It's a stiff shot to the Scottish Warrior. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we will be live yet again 48 hours from tonight. This Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Set the notifications down below. Do not miss out on the King of the Ring. What promises to be quite possibly our biggest live event, live premiere event in our history thus far. Jinder Mahal's got McIntyre weary. If this continues, the modern day Maharaja may be getting the W for his team tonight. McIntyre on spaghetti legs. They had Jinder Mahal scouted there. And another shot by Mahal. Ginger not going to allow Drew McIntyre to get back into this tag team affair here on Super SmackDown. It's a big fight feel in this building tonight. The energy is raucous in Washington, D.C. A part of the biggest week in Universe Mode history. We have been hyping this thing up for weeks. It is here. It is a us. Raw homecoming went off without a hitch this past Monday night. And now the energy rolls in to the Capital One Arena. Mahal on the outside. Here comes the Warrior. My goodness. What agility out of the World Heavyweight Champion. Over the top rope throwing caution in the wind. And that is really a testament to how Itchy McIntyre is to walk away with a victory tonight. He knows he defends his world championship against the man who is his tag team partner tonight, Edge, this Sunday at King of the Ring. But McIntyre wants victory and is willing to do any means necessary to leave DC with his hand raised high. And that may include splitting the difference and taking out Robert Roode. Mahal took out Edge. All is fair in love and war. And down goes the glorious one. Jinder Mahal now catching McIntyre off guard. Trying to hit him with that camel clutch, but the Rated R Superstar not going to allow it. 
Oh, wait a minute. Jinder Mahal again. Take an edge out. Edge knocked to the outside yet again by hands of the modern name Maharaja. And Jinder is not taking his eyes off the rated R superstar just yet. Down on the apron he goes. And McIntyre takes out Rude as well. Things are breaking down in this tag team matchup here tonight at the Capital One Arena. Jinder Mahal, there's a Glasgow kiss. And that may be all she wrote. Knockout blow, but Mahal gets the shoulder up. Drew McIntyre thought he had him. Jinder Mahal might have kicked out. He might have survived, but the damage certainly done. Mahal trying to go behind, and McIntyre says otherwise. Mahal comes from behind again. There's a counter by McIntyre, and a play more kick. But Robert Roode not even going to allow a one count. McIntyre wanted the pinfall. The glorious one said otherwise. And the Raider Door Superstar is going after Roode. Meanwhile, inside of the ring, a second Claymore on Jinder Mahal. And you might as well count all the way to 48 hours from tonight. The tag team matchup is now in the rear view mirror. And Drew McIntyre and Edge set their sights on locking horns one-on-one -on -one this Sunday for the World Heavyweight Championship. Hell of a matchup to kick things off in DC. Here are your winners, Drew McIntyre and Edge. Coexisting as partners tonight. And as much respect as there is between these two, respect goes out the door. Wait a minute. A spear by Edge to the World Heavyweight Champion. What were we just saying? Respect out the door at King of the Ring. A second spear by the Rated R Superstar. The Hall of Famer is coming for the World Heavyweight Championship 48 hours from now in Philadelphia at King of the Ring. Business has certainly picked up between these two men. We are back live here for the Capital One Arena for Super SmackDown. We want to remind you to become a channel member right here tonight because coming up tomorrow, we are heading to the Hammerstein Ballroom for our channel member exclusive WWE live event and already signed for 24 hours from tonight. The Women's Tag Team Championship set to be defended as Raquel Rodriguez and Alaya put their gold on the line against Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Big time tag team matchup for Manhattan, New York. Tomorrow night, don't miss it. Hit the join button down below, become a channel member and witness the biggest WWE live event of our history thus far. But Raquel Rodriguez it's got a little warm up here tonight on SmackDown. And accompanied by Aaliyah from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, one half of the women's tag team champions, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel Rodriguez, Ina Laya, knocking off Bianca Belair and Shotzi to become the women's tag team champions a number of weeks ago here on Friday Night SmackDown. This duo is certainly coming to their own over the last couple of months. And Raquel Rodriguez herself has been picking up a lot of steam here in the blue brand. 24 hours from tonight, they are making the trip from Washington, D.C. to Manhattan, New York, to defend their women's tag team championships. Again, against Caden Carter and Katana Chance, one of the most young and exciting duos in all of WWE. But tonight, Raquel Rodriguez got her hands full. The woman she knows well in EO Sky. This is not the first time these two women have been inside the squared circle with each other. I'm sure it will not be the last, but here we are tonight as Io Sky immediately takes the fight to Raquel Rodriguez. Io Sky, we have seen her in action here on SmackDown, but it has been quite some time, and Io looking to build some momentum for herself ever since joining the blue brand back in March. This is certainly an opportunity to do so. Raquel Rodriguez. A champion here in WWE. Wins and losses matter around these parts. A win against a champion can certainly elevate your status no matter the brand. You are on here on Raw or SmackDown. 
Raquel Rodriguez, of course, thinking otherwise tonight. This is an opportunity to build momentum towards tomorrow for one half of the women's tag team champions. Io Sky, on the other hand, just looking to pick up some momentum for herself here on SmackDown. And maneuvers like that certainly going to aid Io in doing so. Io Sky, a former NXT women's champion, as well as tag team champion, looking to win some gold here in WWE sooner or later. Picking up a W against Raquel Rodriguez tonight can certainly be one step forward for Io Sky in doing so. Meanwhile, Raquel, the powerhouse, unloading on the agile and certainly fast and high flying opponent. Certainly a clash of styles here in Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, Io trying to catch Raquel off her game, rolling her up here. Raquel's got the power to bounce out of that. Sure, Kaden Carter and Katana Chance have been keeping their eye on a lion, Raquel Rodriguez. And even though this is just a singles matchup tonight, I'm sure they got their eyes on Raquel. Looking to find any weakness in the arsenal of one half of the women's tag team champions. Cannot wait to get to the Hammerstein Ballroom 24 hours from tonight. Again, hit that join button down below. Become a channel member. Not only will we receive tomorrow night's live event, we also receive access, replays to our previous WWE live events. A full library coming your way, so become a channel member, a premium pass holder. Hit that join button down below so you don't miss out. Yo, Sky trapped between a rock and a hard place as Raquel Rodriguez off the spine buster takes down Sky. Now here comes the power. Ragdolling her opponent right back into the corner. Yo, rolling to the outside, just trying to catch a breather. And wait a minute here. I think Raquel is out to send a message tonight to the challengers for the tag team gold tomorrow night in Manhattan. Off the top, a rare recurrence from Raquel. Dropping the ax hammer on EO Sky. Certainly showing Katana Chance and Caden Carter come tomorrow night, you are gonna need to bring your A game against Alaya and Raquel Rodriguez, the woman who knocked off Bianca Blair and Shotzi about a month ago here on Friday Night SmackDown to win the gold. Now Raquel, another spine buster. Io Sky might have shown her cards already in this matchup. Wait a minute, don't count out the genius of the Sky. Nice discord knee into the cover. Maybe winning this matchup on a TKO, but not just yet. Great move there by Io. Slid right back into the ring, did not waste a moment. Rather Raquel with that ripcord knee, almost had her as well. Now Io, no wasted motion here. Snap Mariner, the drop kick to the dome. Still keeping the momentum going. Beautiful maneuver. Double stomp. And Sky may be on the verge of victory tonight in DC. Raquel says otherwise. Sending her opponent into the corner and just squashed her between the turnbuckles. You know, Sky down and out. Just in a matter of a snap of the fingers, Raquel Rodriguez changes the tides in your women's division matchup tonight on Super SmackDown. Io down and out, favoring her knee right now. Raquel might have got Io Sky just where she wants her. Io's dazed, she is on the canvas, begging for mercy. And Raquel Rodriguez has got her eyes locked on the opponent. Wait a minute, Tahana Bomb! And Io Sky eats the canvas into the cover. Momentum on the side of the women's tag team champions. That was a great contest between Io Sky and Raquel Rodriguez. Nothing to be ashamed of in defeat for the genius of the Sky. Will live to fight another day, but Raquel Rodriguez came in with a mission and executed it to perfection. Here is your winner, Raquel Rodriguez. Big time win for Raquel. Momentum on the side of the tag team champions. Hit the join button down below and become a No Nation Gaming Premium Pass channel member and gain access to this extraordinary live event 24 hours from tonight. Caden Carter and Katana Chance, Battle Aaliyah, and Raquel Rodriguez for the women's tag team titles. Also coming up tomorrow night, Monday Night Raw's The Miz has issued an open challenge. Who is gonna stand across the squared circle from The Miz in Hammerstein Ballroom? We'll see Chad Gable in action a little bit later tonight, but he is also signed for a big time match tomorrow night as Chad Gable goes one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Gargano.
The next number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship from Raw will be decided when the Bruiserweight Butch reignites an old rivalry with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. And after Rob Van Dam knocked off Sol Sokoa at Raw Homecoming, they look to run things back tomorrow night in an extreme rules match. All of that coming your way for channel members tomorrow night. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. This Sunday night, we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the 2023 King of the Ring live premier event. The Cruiserweight Championship will be defended in 48 hours in WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules Affair between the Cruiserweight Champion Santos Escobar and his number one contender, the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio looks to reclaim the Cruiserweight throne in 48 hours at King of the Ring, but tonight he battles an old rival in Los Lotharios, Angel Garza. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey. Rey Mysterio won the Cruiserweight Championship for the ninth time in his career back on January the 1st of this year at the Royal Rumble. Rey retained that gold over Ricochet, Humberto Carrillo, Axiom, even Santos Escobar himself at WrestleMania. But of course, the leader of Legado del Fantasma, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, took the gold away from Rey Mysterio in that highly anticipated rematch back on May the 14th at Vengeance. Rey Mysterio, Santos Escobar looking to settle the score, write their final chapter in what has been an epic story. 48 hours from now, Extreme Lucha Rules in Philadelphia. Of course, the Extreme Lucha Rules match, as we have found out over the last number of weeks, will be contested under two out of three falls. Anything goes, falls count anywhere. The first matchup of its kind in the WWE between Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship. But as for tonight here in DC, Los Lotharios, Angel Garza, and Umberto. These two men were number one contenders for the World Tag Team Championship about two months ago here on Friday Night SmackDown. Had an incredible matchup against Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. They came up short in the pursuit of the Tag Team Gold. Now a chance for Angel Garza tonight to try to get some momentum back on the side of Los Lotharios. Some momentum that has certainly been missing. Angel and Rey Mysterio, these two men no strangers to each other. If you know your history here in Universe Mode, Angel Garza and Rey Mysterio have had absolute classics in the past, as well as Humberto and Rey Mysterio. Garza knows what it takes to defeat Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio knows the same. With Rey, your current number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, set the battle Escobar at King of the Ring. Angel Garza's got to see this as an opportunity of one of two things. Either to get some momentum for the tag team of Los Lotharios, possibly gain a future World Tag Team Championship match in the future, or simply picking up a couple of Ws or a victory over Rey Mysterio tonight could possibly put Angel Garza himself in line for a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. It's Rey Mysterio coming off with the crossbody. Beautiful maneuver by Rey. Not enough to keep Garza down. Angel, a former Cruiserweight Champion in his own right. He has held gold in WWE in the past. And I'm sure either man of Los Lotharios or together would love to do it again. Angel Garza avoiding whatever Ray was looking for, but Ray follows it up with a clothesline there. Mysterio knows how to brawl with the best of them just as much as he knows how to take things to the air. Double stomp to the rib cage. With such perfection. Executed by Rey Mysterio, but Angel survives again. Rey Mysterio sporting the red, white, and blue here in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. What has been a great night 
here at Super Smackdown thus far. And the distraction from Humberto Carrillo allows Garza to knock Rey Mysterio's chin off with that super kick. And just like that, within a snap of the fingers, Garza's back into this matchup. And what has he got in mind here? My goodness, what a maneuver off the top into the cover, Angel Garza. You hear the audience here in Washington, D.C. giving their appreciation to these two cruiserweights. Angel Garza throwing his best shots at Rey Mysterio in this matchup. But will it be enough to keep the master of the 619 down? Not just yet. Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo, two incredible talents. They may have a little bit of an attitude if you ask the superstars in the back, but they know how to get it done inside of the ring. Rey Mysterio taking Angel Garza off his feet, and now here comes Rey with the frog splash. Rey Mysterio's got so many tricks on the belt to beat you, as he just proved right there. Rey Mysterio riding high. Momentum on the side of the number one contender after a great battle in Washington, D.C. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is looking to become a 10-time Cruiserweight Champion. But will he be able to keep down the Emperor of Lucha Libre this Sunday night? It is the final chapter between Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio in WWE's first ever Extreme Lucha Rules match for the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the World this Sunday in Philadelphia. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an awesome night here. Thank you for joining us from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. for Super Smackdown. But the action not slowing down anytime soon as one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions has got his hands full with one of SmackDown's brightest stars, Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. This should be a great wrestling contest to keep things going on Super Smackdown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Ricochet from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Mustafa Ali. Well, it's really been the word of the night, but momentum on the line tonight as just 48 hours from now, Mustafa Ali and Ricochet will defend their World Tag Team Championships against Monday Night Raw's Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. One of several interpromotional matchups signed for this Sunday. Of course, Liv Morgan from Monday Night Raw will defend the WWE Women's Championship against SmackDown's Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Not only that, but the two semi-final matches in the King of the Ring tournament where the winners will meet each other in the finals, which will be a SmackDown versus Raw final this Sunday night in Philadelphia. And his opponent, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Chad Gable looks laser-focused tonight. This former Olympian Got to see this as an opportunity to get Alpha Academy next in line for a future shot at the World Tag Team Championship. We've seen Chad Gable in recent memory really push some superstars to the limit here on Friday Night SmackDown. It was just a couple of months ago, Gable went one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre in the main event, and he nearly defeated McIntyre on that night. Tonight, Chad Gable back in action against Mustafa Ali, and look at Ali, wait a minute. Oh, Gable's going for a power bomb there, and Ali able to turn out with it early, going for the quick cover, but that's one thing we know about Chad Gable. He is not an easy superstar to defeat. Of course, we will see Gable back in action no matter the result of this contest tomorrow night in Manhattan, New York at the Hammerstein Ballroom, channel member exclusive live event, a SmackDown showcase of two incredible athletes as Gable will go one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. Gable looking to go into that matchup with a victory on his side. Had the cross face in there, and Ali was able to break out of it early. Both these men going for early victories, and that very well may be because of the upcoming battles they have this weekend. 
Able going for a shot. Aliyah with a counter. Nice takedown by one half of the world tag team champions. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, they have been an incredible duo, to say the very least, over the last couple of months. A team that came together through mutual respect. But an opportunity arose back in January in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet aligned themselves, took the tournament by storm, ended up winning the whole damn thing back on WrestleMania Saturday. Of course, that qualified Ali and Ricochet to move on to WrestleMania Sunday, just 24 hours later. It was the night they became the World Tag Team Champions. And what a run it's been for them since. They've defended the gold successfully against the Viking Raiders, against J.D. McDonough and Drew Gulak, against Los Lotharios. And now Ali and Ricochet put the gold on the line yet again against the Judgment Day this Sunday night. And Finn Balor and Damian Priest, they have been taking Monday Night Raw by storm. Ever since aligning themselves with each other, whether it's been in singles matches or tag team matches, Priest and Balor, what a duo they have been on the red brand. Not going to be an easy task for Ali and Ricochet to walk away with the gold this Sunday at King of the Ring. But if Ali can dig down deep and pull out maneuvers like that, Ali and Ricochet certainly got a chance. Springboard, moonsault, what a follow-up. Mustafa Ali motivated as all hell tonight to get the victory in D.C. Of course, last week on SmackDown, the one and only Ricochet had a great matchup against the Irish Ace, J.D. McDonough. He picked up the victory. Now Ali looking for a singles win of his own. Ali not able to keep Gable down there, but what offense out of one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Many a times we have called Mustafa Ali the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown. Ricochet, the human highlight reel. These two men have... Quite certainly the faces, or I should say two of the faces, of the blue brand and quite frankly of all of WWE. Ali heading to the top rope, Chad Gable being taken off his feet. And here comes Ali, what a missile drop kick. Ali is really strutting his stuff in this contest against Chad Gable and Alpha Academy's leader, Master Gable getting the shoulder off the canvas. Ali is pedal to the metal tonight in this matchup. Chad Gable sees opportunity and not looking to let it slip through his fingers as he takes Ali down. Former Olympian, former tag team champion in his own right, Chad Gable. Against one half of the world tag team champions, Mustafa Ali. We are live tonight from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. A part of the biggest week in Universe Mode history. I want to thank you all for joining us live right now. If you're watching on the replay, thank you as well. We missed out on Raw Homecoming this past Monday night from Madison Square Garden. The replay also available right now on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Chad Gable here. The suplex to Mustafa Ali. Oh, wait a minute. Could be going for a dose. Gable dropping Ali again and could be looking for a trace. Down goes Ali. The triple group verticals taking down Mustafa Ali, and that may be all she wrote in this contest. Close call, but no cigar for Alpha Academy's master. Gable almost had him off those suplexes. Damage has got to be done, but Mustafa Ali going to keep fighting. Pop up, drop kick takes down Alpha Academy's Gable. Chad Gable is a in-ring technician, one of the best there is, I'd say, not just on SmackDown, but in all of the WWE. He's got to get some victories, start building some momentum for himself. What a maneuver by Ali! Spanish fly off the middle buckle. Washington, D.C. is coming unglued. Now Ali to the outside with a cross body on Gable. Chad Gable has got no answer to the high-flying offense of one half of the world tag team champions. Ali has taken things to the sky tonight, and Chad Gable is feeling the repercussions of it. Gable still fighting nonetheless. Avoids that Inziguri. Sending Ali into the corner. It's the second time he has sent Mustafa Ali into the corner. Gable could very well be looking for that chaos theory to wrap up this matchup in his eyes. Ali knows what Gable's putting together here. Trying to avoid it. Springboard Tornado DDT takes down the opposer. 
Great night of action here on SmackDown. Ali taking down Gable again. This is what Friday Night SmackDown is really all about. Some of the best of the best battling it out inside of that squared circle. Wins and losses matter, as we always talk about, especially when momentum is riding on the line. So many superstars in action tonight. Going to be in action either tomorrow night at WWE Live or this Sunday at King of the Ring, and nobody's looking to walk into their next battle with their hand not being raised high in victory. And the cover off the splash, and Gable survives. Ali is racking his brain right now. He has taken things to the sky time after time in this matchup, and Chad Gable is still swinging for the fences. Ali wants the victory. He knows Judgment Day is going to be looking to seek Mustafa Ali and Ricochet's tag team title this Sunday night. And the heart and soul and the human highlight reel of SmackDown need all the momentum they can get of what possibly may be their biggest challenge to date. Abel's trying to get back into this matchup. And speaking of the Judgment Day, you remember how they became the number one contenders? A tag team battle on Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago against Butch and Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes. It very well could have been a Brawling Brutes victory on that night, but the Judgment Day were just the better team. They just wanted it more on Monday Night Raw. And now they have their opportunity coming up in 48 hours to Priest and Balor. See Ali, the fatigue starting to set in. All those high-risk maneuvers, they take a lot out of your opponent. They take a lot to execute him as well. Add in the offense of Chad Gable, and Ali is looking worse for wear, at least for the moment. Muscling up Gable, and oh, a stiff shot to the lower back. Now Gable goes behind. Another counter by Ali. Ali goes for the forearm. Starting to unload on Gable, and down goes Master Gable. Mustafa Ali starting to pick up some steam here. Former United States Champion, he is. Looking to get that singles victory here tonight in Washington, D.C. Gable down, Mustafa Ali on the apron here. Not sure what Ali has got in mind right now. A little bit miscalculated. Chad Gable still dazed, luckily. Ali come at him. Gable looking for the counter. Ali counters. Up and over. Beautiful kick to the dome. Chad Gable just trying to get his wits about him here. Ali may have been a little slow to capitalize. Rare mistake, I would say, out of Mustafa Ali's onslaught. Gable's looking for Chaos Theory, possibly again, and Ali able to avoid it. This is one hell of a wrestling matchup, as we expected here tonight. Mustafa Ali with momentum riding on the line. Chad Gable sees opportunity across the ring from a champion here on SmackDown. Wait a minute, Gable gets almost taken out again. Ali, all the high-risk maneuvers finally catching up to him. Crash and burn off the crossbody to the outside. And Chad Gable now looks to take advantage. Ali took himself out. Gable got out of the way. Crash and burn situation. And Mustafa Ali may be in trouble here in Washington, D.C. And this is where Chad Gable starts to thrive. A downed opponent, and Alpha Academy's own, looking to seek opportunity and seek victory tonight. Back into the corner. Gable is desperate to hit that chaos theory. How many times we have we seen him put Mustafa Ali in position, but Ali clearly did his homework and is looking to survive. Chad Gable ahead of King of the Ring. Gable down, Ali now. The opposer off his feet. Let's see if Mustafa Ali can capitalize here. Is able to avoid Chad Gable, whatever he had in mind. Springboard, senton. That's enough to knock the wind out of you any day of the week, twice on Friday. Ali's got to capitalize here. Obviously, fatigue starting to set in, but Ali from the top, 0-5-4. And nobody does it like the heart and soul of SmackDown. Big time victory and certainly a hard fought one for one half of the World Tag Team Champions in Mustafa Ali. Gable gave it all he had, was nearing victory, but in the end, Ali just wanted it more. Here is your winner, Mustafa.
These two men have been riding a super wave of momentum for months here on SmackDown. But is that wave about to come down crashing in just 48 hours in Philadelphia? Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. This Sunday, we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia for the 2023 King of the Ring. It is going to be a stacked night of action featuring the conclusion to the King of the Ring tournament. First off, from Friday Night SmackDown, in a semi-final battle, it is the phenomenal AJ Styles, one-on-one -on -one with All Day Austin Theory. And on the other side of the bracket, from Monday Night Raw, Seth freaking Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. It is a semi-final battle. The winner will meet SmackDown's winner in the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament Finals. Five championship matches set to be decided as the Cruiserweight titles on the line in an extreme Lucha Rules match. Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio battling tooth and nail for months. They write their final chapter this Sunday in the land of extreme. The World Tag Team titles are on the line. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali picking up singles victories the last number of weeks. But will that momentum be enough to keep down Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day? It's another interpromotional battle as Liv Morgan from Raw defends her WWE Women's Championship against the number one contender from SmackDown, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, looking to put an end to Liv Morgan's Cinderella story as the Women's Champion. It is Monday Night Raw's main event. A lot of bad blood between Kevin Owens and Matt Riddle. And now with Sami Zayn, Ixonade from ringside. Kevin Owens looks to do it alone. The WWE Championship is on the line between the prize fighter and the original bro. And it is the Friday Night SmackDown main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Edge threw down the gauntlet later tonight when he speared Drew McIntyre. But coming up this Sunday, one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship. Respect goes out the door and all in the means of walking out of Philadelphia with the big gold belt. McIntyre and Edge battle it out this Sunday night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. But it is main event time from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. The United States Championship is on the line in the nation's capital in a first time ever meeting in your main event. The number one contender the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Look at a winning championship that has been held by so many greats. Cody Rhodes wants to add his name to a legendary list and of course be the first man to defeat Gunther since his arrival on SmackDown back in November. It is the biggest week in Universe Mode history. We witnessed an amazing Monday Night Raw homecoming this past Monday. Tonight has been off the charts in Washington, D.C. on Super SmackDown. And what better conclusion than for the prestigious United States Championship to be defended in our nation's capital. A first time ever battle between the American Nightmare and the Ring General. Cody Rhodes hot off the heels of a tooth and nail rivalry against Austin Theory from February to May where Cody wrote the final chapter by defeating Austin Theory in that 30 minute Iron Man match just over a month ago at Vengeance. And ever since then, Cody has set his sights on Gunther. He was the one who laid out the challenge, put his name in the hat as the next deserving challenger and the ring general Gunther took him up on that challenge. Gunther not afraid to step inside that squared circle with anybody. It's about making history for Gunther. And it's about retaining his United States Championship. 
and the atmosphere certainly changes when the ring general arrives. And you take notice, no Giovanni Vinci or Ludwig Kaiser in the corner of Gunther tonight. Gunther knows how big this matchup is. The eyes of the world are upon Washington DC for this first time ever battle. And if Gunther's gonna retain the United States Championship tonight, the ring general wants to make sure there's no end if or buts about it that he is the United States Champion. Cody Rhodes has got to be wondering if he's got what it takes to defeat Gunther, a man who has been undefeated since Imperium joined Friday Night SmackDown back in November. That man's shoulders have not been counted for a three count, nor has he tapped out in any of his contest. Winning the championship back at WrestleMania, he has successfully defended it against Wes Lee, against AJ Styles. Cody Rhodes might be next on that list, but the American Nightmare is coming in with a different ball game. Cody Rhodes has got other plans to become the United States Champion in the heart of America, right here tonight at Super SmackDown. It's time for your main event. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Gunter! It is a big fight feel in your Super SmackDown main event. Guther handing over the United States Championship for what very well may be the final time in this reign. The American Nightmare taking a look at the red, white, blue, and gold it has now held above the ring. Who is leaving Washington, D.C.? The United States Champion, Cody Rhodes, Gunther. The main event has officially started. And here we go. This is going to be an incredible wrestling matchup. I just got a feeling between the ring general and the American Nightmare. And Gunther immediately taking Cody off his feet, trying to send a message that Cody is outmatched here tonight on SmackDown. This is Super SmackDown Live, and this is no doubt one of the biggest main events in the history of the blue brand. Luther, as we mentioned, undefeated. I'm sure he has done his homework on his number one contender, Cody Rhodes, tonight. The mat is sacred to Imperium. Gunther wants to be the best in between those ropes. And that means defeating any and all challengers. Gunther was not one to turn away the challenge of Cody Rhodes. He sees this as an opportunity to solidify his legacy here tonight in Washington, D.C. Cody Rhodes not having an answer to the ring general thus far. Cody dazed on the outside here, and Gunther's looking to send a message hot out of the gate, and Cody Rhodes making sure that there was nobody home. Crash landing for the ring general. And Gunther looking to throw Cody Rhodes off his game may have costed him early. Got to keep your eyes on Cody Rhodes. Some great agility, some great speed in his arsenal. Oh, wait a minute, the ring general grabbing Cody Rhodes and just ragdolling him in the corner. Cody Rhodes has got a lot of power, but I'd say Gunther probably outweighs him in that category. Luther, no doubt with the strike advantage in this matchup. One of the hardest hitters in WWE history. There's Cody Rhodes. Trying not to fall behind in this matchup. Taking Gunther down the size here. And Cody Rhodes, as I just mentioned, not looking to fall behind in this matchup. Gunther was controlling the first minute or so. And tried to throw Cody off his game coming off the top. And Cody Rhodes saw that, saw the opportunity. The window was open. And it shifted the momentum for the majority so far. With the up and Cody with the moonsault. Down goes Gunther. He very well may be on the verge of a new United States heavyweight champion here tonight on SmackDown. 
The ropes are draped in red, white, and blue. The United States Championship takes center stage, and one of these men is leaving the nation's capital, holding that prestigious gold. Cody going for a shot, nice duck, and a right hand by Gunther delivers another uppercut. A ragdoll on Cody to his feet, and there's the strength out of the ring general. Now goes into the cover, and I think Gunther knows that it's gonna take a lot more to keep Cody down, but just trying to get into the mindset of the American Nightmare. Gunther knows that Cody Rhodes is still hot off the heels of that 30-minute Iron Man match with Austin Theory back at Vengeance, a match that Cody Rhodes won, by the way. Gunther knows that Cody is no doubt one of the best in the business today, and that is not gonna be an easy task to keep down the American Nightmare. In that same breath, Gunther also one of the best going today. There's a reason he's undefeated on SmackDown. There's a reason he's the United States Champion. And there's a reason Gunther's so confident to take any challenge, even if you are Cody Rhodes. Down the outside goes the ring general. Cody Rhodes goes for a dive and lands on the chest and the heart of Gunther. Cody Rhodes gonna be willing to Throw caution in the wind, any means necessary in his pursuit of the United States Championship tonight. Guther got him tied up here, double arm slam, and down goes the American Nightmare. Guther just looking to pick apart the son of a plumber here tonight. Cody Rhodes down and out. I should say the son of the son of the plumber. Cody just trying to get to his feet. Guther better keep his eye on the American Nightmare. And you gotta wonder if Guther is gonna be the one to underestimate Cody. Not saying there's a reason necessarily to do that, but you never know, Guther being so undefeated and so confident in his work. You never know if Guther's gonna get a little bit cocky and quite frankly underestimate the American Nightmare and allow Cody Rhodes to take advantage and win the United States Championship tonight. Guther on the other hand sending Cody into the corner. You see how Cody and fatigue early on in this matchup is already starting to set in. That is what it's like being in there with the ring general. Just a couple of boot scrapes just disrespecting Cody Rhodes. Luther knows how much this matchup means to Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare in the nation's capital. We're going to win a championship that was once held by his father. The United States Championship. Cody wants the title. Will tonight be the night? Luther on the outside. Wait a minute. Cody's now heading up to the top. A little bit roll reversal from a few minutes ago. And Cody with the drop kick. And he nails it flush. And here comes the American Nightmare starting to pick up some steam. But you can't keep Guther down for long. Guther will not give you a second to breathe. You got to keep your eye on the pedal. And Cody going for a shot. And Guther with an on. Guther with another. Goes for the kick to the gut, Cody saying otherwise. Cody, disaster kick! Into the cover! Will that be all she wrote? To win the United States Championship, not just yet. Cody looking to take Gunther off his game right there, surprise him with the disaster kick and walk away. The United States Champion, but Gunther has fought back from worse. Remember the ring general, dethroned. Oh, wait a minute here, wait a minute, Cody! Vertebreaker! And that may do it! But Gunther kicks out again! That Vertebreaker has won Cody Rhodes' matchups in the past, in recent history here on SmackDown. But Gunther is just a different puzzle that Cody's gonna have to try to figure out tonight. Cody utilizing the disaster kick to no avail. The vertebraker to no avail. But even though he didn't get the three count, you gotta believe the damage is done, and Gunther is not 100% right now. This kick by the ring general trying to get back into this matchup. Gunther as serious, as dominant as they come. Got Cody in the fireman's carry position and hanging him up on the top. As we are about to mention, you remember who Guther dethroned to become the United States Champion back in February at WrestleMania. That was the almighty Bobby Lashley. One hell of a battle it was. 
where Guther sent Lashley off the top rope with a power bomb to win the United States Championship. If Guther is willing to go to those lengths just to win the gold, imagine the lengths Guther is willing to go to to retain the championship. He's picking apart Cody Rhodes right now. Cody was showing some signs of life off the disaster kick, off the vertebraker, but now the ring general shifting the tides in this main event clash. Cody Rhodes hung up on the ropes, and now Gunther picking him up again. And a snake guys to Cody Rhodes in the corner, into the cover to retain the United States Championship. Cody Rhodes survives. And Gunther, a little bit of frustration possibly setting in. Gunther hasn't had that many matches in his SmackDown career that have really gone the distance. I mean, we've seen him battle it out with AJ Styles at Vengeance. And one hell of a fight. The matchup with Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania, we mentioned that. It's not that Guther hasn't gone the distance here on SmackDown. It's just a rare occurrence. Now Guther in there with Cody Rhodes and Cody surviving. Everything Guther has had to offer so far. And Cody, there's another reversal. Wait a minute. Rolling up the champion, trying to walk away with the title, not just yet. Cody was looking to steal the victory, and he almost had him there. And that may be what Cody needs to do to try to defeat the champion tonight. Simply take him off his game. Luther down on one knee. Well, look at the balance from Cody to the outside. Beautiful crossbody. Effective maneuver to take out the ring general, at least for a moment. Back inside the squared circle, and Cody's heading to the top rope. They don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. There's a reversal by Gunther. Into the cover again. And Cody once again kicking out, but you see, you notice a little bit of lack of enthusiasm in that kick out. Fatigue is setting in on the American Nightmare, without a doubt. Nice corkscrew, and this. Main event matchup really started to go back and forth between the champion and the challenger. First time ever between Cody and Guther living up to the hype. Cody dropping him with the DDT. As this matchup starts to go the distance, starts to go into championship rounds, into deep waters, if you will. This very well may be a test of endurance. And Cody now, Frankensteiner off the top and down goes Guther dead center of the ring. Cody not done going to the opposite corner. Luther's a little bit far out, but Cody gonna make it with the moonsault. Cody Rhodes might have just cracked a rib of Guther off one hell of a moonsault executed to perfection, but somehow the ring general lives on to fight another moment. Who has the will, the determination, to walk away United States Champion! Double drop kicks to the spine, and those are gonna hurt like hell with Gunther, the one delivering them. And this may be it! Gunther with the choke cold in, the legs wrapped around the body of Cody Rhodes, squeezing the life out of the American Nightmare. AJ Styles tapped to the submission, but Cody Rhodes says otherwise here. Oh, wait a minute, he's got Guther's shoulders down. Pinfall, almost stole the United States Championship. This matchup is hitting new levels right now and a snap German by Guther into the pinfall again. Cody kicks out. This is what being a champion is all about. Cody taking Guther off his feet. Cody able to survive the chokehold, but how much did that squeeze by the ring general take out of Cody? Gotta wonder if all the breath is back in the lungs. If the air is back inside the mind of the American Nightmare. Luther down on the outside and Cody Rhodes just trying to figure out a blueprint. Cody Rhodes has got to be racking his brain. He sees what he's thrown, thrown at Guther so far. He's seen what Guther's been able to throw at Cody and somehow this matchup is still progressing. Luther back inside the ring, shot to the back. Counter by Cody. Fireman's carry takeover there. The ring general caught off guard. Sent over the top rope by the American Nightmare, and down goes the United States Champion. What a main event from Washington, D.C. 
And you see Cody not going after Gunther. He knows he can't win the United States Championship on a count out, but I think at this point he expects Gunther to keep fighting. And that was honestly smart by Cody to just let Gunther rest on the outside for a moment and get some rest for yourself inside of the ring. This hip toss there, that has got to take some great strength out of Cody, especially this deep into the matchup. To have that still to throw is simply just a impressive by the American Nightmare. Gunther is tired, and that is a rare occurrence out of the ring general to be in this state in a matchup. That is a testament to what Cody Rhodes has thrown at Gunther throughout this match. But the ring general gonna keep fighting. Oh, a shot by Gunther! Another one! And Cody just getting the life smacked out of the lungs right there. Rolling to the outside, Gunther on his tail. Now, what has the ring general, the United States champion, got in mind? Back and forth, we start to go. We mentioned it a few minutes ago, but this is very much a test of endurance. Who is going to have the will to succeed and be the last man standing in this United States championship battle? Cody back inside the ring. And then Guther. Getting snapped off the top rope and down goes the champion again. And Cody Rhodes again. I think just taking the moment to breathe here. It's kind of a win-lose situation because Gunther gets the same rest, but at this point, Cody needs every gasp of breath he can attain. And a drop kick takes Gunther. Very impressive by Cody off the middle buckle. Almost goaded the champion in there, and Gunther took the bait. Into the corner goes Gunther. Cody Rhodes with whatever energy he's got left tried to muscle it up Gunther. The ring general says otherwise. And now once again ragged on the American Nightmare with these chops. This time into the cover. And that may do it to retain the United States Championship. But somehow Cody is still fighting. I cannot believe it. When Guther's just on the top rope right now. He took his eye off the ball, and that is a rare misstep out of the ring general. Cody sending a lifeless body of Guther's over the top rope, and of the American Nightmare smells blood in the water. Guther may be the bigger, stronger competitor, but Cody Rhodes looking to pounce like the shark tonight. Off the apron with the clothesline. What has Cody got left? To throw at the ring general. Wait a minute! Crossroad on the outside! Cody Rhodes pulling out the ace in the hole. A crossroads, but unfortunately it was on the outside of the ring. A desperation maneuver out of the American Nightmare. And he's got to get Gunther inside the confines of the ropes to get the three count and win the United States Championship. Gunther is dazed. Gunther is hurt. Cody Rhodes. Going down, oh wait a minute, Gunther. Cody was seeking a pinfall there, but the ring general is still breathing. This man is inhuman. The United States champion is just simply built different. Surviving that crossroads on the outside of the ring, a desperation out of the American nightmare, and now Gunther is once again in control. And that may have been Cody's best shot. Gunther has now slowed the pace down, took the energy out of this building, took the energy out of Cody Rhodes, and now Gunther is looking to seek a fallen predator. And Gunther is looking to retain the United States Championship, and here comes the American Nightmare again. Never count out Cody. Into the cover. Almost had him there. Almost had a new United States Champion. Oh, and here comes Cody, bionic elbow. What poetry this would be. Almost had him again. But Guther, once again, pops the shoulder off the canvas. How beautiful it would have been if the bionic elbow was the final shot in Guther's United States Championship reign. But Guther survives and takes the legs out from Cody that time. Cody might have costed himself, looking to go high risk. And the ring general looking to capitalize. Another cover. 
on Cody Rhodes. But Cody's heart is still pumping. Blood is still traveling through the veins of Cody Rhodes, and Cody will not rest until he is the United States Champion, but Guther will not allow that on his watch. Cody Rhodes is hurt. Oh, wait a minute. If Cody gets trapped, there may be no going back. The chokehold is locked in. Guther's wrenching on the challenger. The American Nightmare has nowhere to go. Cody's holding on. He survived this earlier, but it's one thing to get out of it once. It's a whole other story when you're trapped in the grass of the ring general again. Cody's got to get out of it. He's got to get out of it. He does not. Cody taps out before he risks serious injury, and the United States Championship remains with Gunther. Well, that was absolutely a roller coaster of a main event. A main event for the ages on Super SmackDown. And unfortunately, the hopes and dreams of the American Nightmare have come crashing down. Here is your winner, and still WWE United States Champion, Gunter. Ladies and gentlemen, in 48 hours, it is the conclusion to the King of the Ring tournament from Friday Night SmackDown. Austin Theory battles the phenomenal AJ Styles. And on the Monday Night Raw side of the bracket, the visionary Seth freaking Rollins battles the King of Strong Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura. The winners move on to an interpromotional final to determine the King of the Ring. And of course, SmackDown's main event this Sunday, Drew McIntyre defends the gold against the rated R superstar Edge, the man who dropped him with a spear earlier tonight, one-on-one -on -one this Sunday for the World Heavyweight Championship. The ring general, Gunther, retains the United States Championship in our nation's capital on an absolutely historic evening on Super SmackDown. Thank you so much for joining us live, and we will see you this Sunday in Philadelphia for the 2023 King of the Ring. Good night, everybody, from Washington, D.C. Based on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.